I want to talk about alcohol. I need, to, I need to do this. This is important for me to do. Alcohol has been um, It's very difficult to explain exactly what alcohol is for me. It's not just a vice at all. It's not just a boogeyman that I need to run and hide from or that I need to fix or figure out. It's very, uh, it's a very complex relationship that I have with alcohol. And I know I understand all of the, um, I mean, it's gotten me into plenty of trouble just, just by drinking it, right? The, I still have this DUI thing hanging over me because of alcohol. And of course, because of my um, acquiescence to drink the substance. But at the same time, I see, I see alcohol as the same thing as anything else in this realm. It's a difficulty that's part of my life challenge. Just as much as money, just as much as me having to sleep in the car, um, not having a place to stay. All of this stuff is simply part of the complete package of, you know, what challenges must Gary face. Um, so that being said, so you can have a little better idea of why I'm making this video. Um, so I, I had 30 days of no alcohol. And I, I have much more energy when I'm not drinking. And if, if you'd like to tie this into your own life and say maybe uh, some things that sort of control you, um, when you're when you're taking a substance, it changes your life flow. The whole thing, including the thought process that starts, um, say the first drink, or go get a cigarette, or the thought process that starts, hey, let's go, you know, smoke smoke a joint. Um, the second you have that thought process and you start wrestling with whether you're gonna do it or not, your whole life flow has changed at that point. And for me, the struggle has always been uh, wanting to be able to enjoy this substance called alcohol, because I do enjoy it, um, and not letting the thing completely control me. I was in AA for a year and a half, so I, I know what it feels like to be completely sober. Um, and then, you know, since, since since I stopped going to AA, it's been me basically playing with the substance because every time, because, and I'll say this straight out, I can control whether I drink the first drink or not, but, to, well, to say after the first drink I have no more control is incorrect. It's that the desire to um, insert the control is, is removed. So after one drink, then um, any commitments to say only have one drink, that's just gone. And for me to know, fully know and understand that now, here and now, uh, moving forward is important for me. Because now I know, I, I knew this already, but it's, it's coming very clear now that if I say something like, I'm gonna have one drink only, okay, that only holds true before I've had the one drink. After I've had the one drink, then I just say, oh, well, you know, whatever. And it just goes out the window. So back to the, the last few days, um, So I paid I, I paid the, the loans, right? Ate the stale cookie. Didn't have very much, I don't have very much money left. I think 
I have like no money, but um, yeah, so went back home and the idea was, okay, I'll only have a drink, you know, special occasions. I, I've, I've tried to insert so many control mechanisms over the substance and um, and so I'll have a beer and then the initial control is just gone. It's only, it's, the control is only there before you take the first one, at least for me. And that this is generally understood in AA as well. Um, but the, the important thing I would, I'm trying to say here is not so much about the control because my, my overall behavior with drinking has modified itself to the point where it's not going to get me in trouble as far as possible DUIs or anything like that because I don't get myself near that situation anymore being that I got a, a spanking, basically. So, I'm good on that part. Like, that part has been fully uh, adapted. So, But I'll walk to the store, you know? I'll drive to get the first one and then later on I'll walk. And, uh... The, the spirits, you know, the spirit of alcohol does its thing after the first one. And as, as good as it makes me feel, it uh, takes away from any energetic offering that I have for all of you here on the tubes. Uh, it takes my energy away doesn't give anything in return basically it's it's like a false uh, it's a false thing and I'm still I'm not saying gonna quit alcohol forever I already know that's bad that's 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 literally bad to do that and it, it always backfires somehow I've done so many oh I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that like anytime you set try to set some thought form in, in a solidity you're just being unreasonable so I'm not doing that, I'm just parsing out my thoughts with regards to uh, my relationship with this substance. So I, I know that it takes the energy away. And it, it matches kind of what's going on out there. It matches even, even stats on my videos. I, I don't pay too much attention to them, but I, I am aware of them and if if I'm uh, drinking and lowering my energetic output, well, the, the stats reflect that, which is just more um, acknowledgement that this is, you know, this is a, this is a inside outside reflective self reflective self recursive realm. Um, Also, Gia sent me this video about alcohol, and uh, this was like a couple days before. And so, you know, so I was drinking, you know, the last few days, and the, the drink basically takes over my whole life, uh, and whatever semblances of control I had before while I'm drinking aren't there. The, the mainstays of protection as far as me not getting DUIs and stuff like that, and also, you know, me not uh, saying something mean to somebody, which I'm also known to do under the influence. Those, those have kind of sort of fixed themselves, but general energetic output, down. Down if I drink. And it, it it manages, when you're taking substances, it manages your whole life flow. The substance does, because it puts you into a different energetic state. And the same could be said for anything. I mean, eating food manages your, <laughs> your, your life flow. 
But as far as goals and uh, me getting myself out of this situation into a more healthy situation, drinking is not aiding that. Um, still, that being said, I'm not quitting alcohol forever. I'm, I'm not doing this black and white thing to a complex situation because it doesn't do it justice. But it does affect my standing in the community, so to speak, because I am unable to um, be out there when when I'm in this this uh, it's just a sunk spot, you know. It's not it's not uh, yeah. What else? I don't know. Matt has an interesting video out about Chris Gio and his wife and their foray into the machine of the pyramids. I'm going to get some Reiki. Reiki is better than alcohol. I know that much. <laughs> lessons, right? Lessons and lessons. Never stops. Well, that's... I think that's about it. Just wanted to say some things about alcohol. I'm gonna go get some Reiki. Hope everyone's well. Peace.